So this is a new moon practice. So it is a new moon today. Great time to set intentions, to start projects, to launch something new, or even just to have a little bit of a, an evaluation, a little look and see what do you need to let go of or what do you want to take into the, the month ahead. Always nice to have a little bit of a review every now and again. So to start with, we're gonna start seated. Do feel free to lie down though. If ever you do want to start lying down, you just need to lengthen the spine. Do feel free. I'm gonna find a nice comfy posture, relax the shoulders, shimmy it down, and lower or close the eyes, whichever feels right for you. And we're just gonna arrive in our space, wherever that is. Feel the sitting bones rooted down to the ground. Find that lovely long spine. Relaxing the face, the jaw. And then just feeling the breath in the body. Just starting to feel the coolness of the air coming in and the warmth of the air going out. And we're just bringing awareness inward. But you, you might notice sounds from outside or from inside. And you can notice each one, label each sound, and then bring it back in, bring it back to the breath, coming in and coming out. Just taking a moment to see how the body feels. Is there any sensations, any niggles, anything that's trying to pull your attention? And you can acknowledge it, bring it into your awareness, coming into the body. How do the clothes feel on the skin? And where does the body touch the earth? Can you feel the pressure? The sensation. And then beginning to allow the breath, if it's not already, to come in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just with a gentle sigh. <sighs> We're filling the belly, filling the chest as we breathe in, beginning to expand with each inhale. And as we exhale, oh, letting everything go, let the shoulders be heavy. Feel the belly come back in. And see if we can allow that breath to fully come out, releasing anything that isn't serving us today. And before we begin to move the body in a physical practice, take a moment to see if you would like to set an intention, a sankalpa. Just Anything that comes to mind, there might be something specific or it might simply be a feeling that you want to invite in for the rest of the lunar month. You might be inviting in calmness, energy, it could be health, anything that you would like to bring in. Set that intention right now. 
and then let it go out into the ether. Release the intention. If we let it go, it can come back to us. Taking one more beautiful big breath in, fill the belly, fill the chest, feel the back expand and hold it there for just a moment or two. And then <sighs> let it all out. Pull the tummy gently into the spine, release all of the oxygen. And then find a breath that serves you. And this could be in and out through the nose. We might take the occasional sigh. Just keeping the rhythm of the breath really nice and steady. Balancing the nervous system. Fabulous. In your own time, we're blinking open the eyes if they're closed. We're going to take the hands to the knees, just cupping them gently. We're going to start to circle the body. Just round one way. And as we come forward, we're going to push the chest forward. As we come back, we're going to round the back. Just waking up the spine, particularly if we've been quite stationary, if we've not moved much today. Take it round in the other direction. Really moving through the whole body. Fabulous. Bringing it back to centre when you are ready. Lovely. Just taking the legs out, give them a nice shimmy, little shake. Let's roll into the ankles, get some blood flowing. And then we're going to move over to hands and knees in your own time, in your own way. Coming to your tabletop positions, hands underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips, spreading the fingers, unlocking the elbows. We're going to go through some cat cow tilts, really wake up the spine. So let's inhale, lift the head and the chest, point the bottom. As you exhale, round the back, push to the sky. Inhale, bring it on up, let the belly drop. Exhale, round, pull the tummy into the spine and just follow your breath. Rounding and lifting. And do feel free to freestyle it a little. Go to the side, to sides. We can round and pull back to child's pose if we wish. Making the movement as big or as little as the body wants today. Fabulous. A little bit more. Maybe rolling into the shoulders, not in the head. Fabulous. Bringing it back to centre when you're ready. Do you feel free to shake off the wrists, get a little bit of blood flowing through the fingers. And then spreading the hands with either your choice. Going to come up to your downward facing dog. I'm going to paddle out the legs. If that feels like a little bit too much for you, you could come back to tabletop and just take one leg out and stretch. Then the other leg. So this is our lower, more grounded movement, particularly if we just want to keep it nice and calm. If we're in downward dog, we're getting the energy, we're swinging the hips. Pedaling out the legs, waking up that lower body, really grounding the feet down. Fabulous. When you're ready, just bringing it to stillness. Take a lovely breath in, big breath out. <sighs> and then walk the feet forward towards the hands into your forward fold, let the body hang. 
And do put a little bend in the knees so we're not locking into the joints. We are nice and soft. Let the head be heavy. Hands to the elbows and wag doll if that feels good. And you could even swing from side to side. Wonderful. Release the arms down. Bigger bend in the knees. We're going to inhale, roll all the way up to standing. Mountain posture for a moment. Lovely and tall. Check in with the breath. <sighs> Lovely. And just shake it off. Flick off the arms. Flick off the legs. Really just releasing any tension that might have come up. And then we're going to take the feet maybe a little wider than the hips and spread into the toes. Nice relaxed shoulders. Engage the belly a little, chest is lifted. And take the arms out to the sides and push away, fingers flex to the sky, pushing as if we're pushing towards the other side of us. Relaxing the shoulders. Bam. Taking the head over to one side when you're ready. Keeping that push going, we're really getting into the shoulders and the neck, clearing anything stale, anything tense. Wonderful, let's take that head all the way over to the opposite side. Wonderful, breathe in there, keep that push going with the arms. And then bring the head back to centre, release the arms, flick it off. Oh, flick off any tension. Wonderful. We're going to step nice and wide onto the yoga mat. So you might want to face the long edge so you've got plenty of grip under feet. And just take it as wide as feels comfortable. So it doesn't have to be super wide, it could be just a bit wider than the hips. Engage the belly, pelvic floor is lifted. We're going to turn the toes slightly out so that the heels come slightly in. Bring the hands together at the heart. Take a lovely deep breath in. As you exhale, bend the knees. And again, this could be a tiny movement or you might take it right down. Pull the belly gently in, flex the hips towards the front. Fabulous. Lovely. When you're ready, we're going to take the hands to the thighs, pointing the fingers down. The body gently leans forward. But we're not rounding. We're keeping the chest lifted. Bam. Perfect. Let's take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to turn and try to send the right shoulder towards the left knee. Inhale, come back to centre. And exhale, we're going to take it to the other side. Inhale to centre. We're going to flow with your breath. So it doesn't have to be a huge movement. It can just be a little turn. If that feels good. Or we're taking it right down for a nice big twist. Notice where we feel that in the body. Lovely. Let's take one more on both sides. Fabulous. Bring it to centre. Lift the legs. Lovely. Relax the arms. And then you're going to turn the toes back in. So now the toes and the heels are in lovely line together. Inhale, let's sweep the arms up. As we exhale, we're going to fold it forward. You can bring the hands to the legs to support. Or we might just slide all the way down. Let the head be heavy. Nodding the head. Let the arms be super heavy. 
Lengthening the spine. Fabulous. In your own time, with the hands on the ground, we're going to push gently up so that back is lengthened. If that feels uncomfortable, you can always just grab a pillow or something under the hands just to lift you up a little bit. So something to play with. You're going to plant the left hand on the ground. Inhale, right arm comes up. Having a nice gentle twist. Doesn't have to come all the way up. Few breaths then. On exhale, we're going to bring that hand down, swap it over. Inhale, left arm comes up. Nice long breath. Fabulous. Exhale, bring that hand down. Let the body go heavy one more time. Little nod of the head. And put a deeper bend in the knees. We're going to inhale, roll up. Vertebra by vertebra. Come up to standing. Fabulous. Roll the shoulders back and down. We're going to take the right toes and point them to the top of the mat. Left foot is staying where it is. We're going to bend that right knee, coming into a warrior two position. So we either can have our hands on the hips or we can have the arms lifted, whichever feels right with your energy today. Perfect. Engage the belly, lifting out of the hips with soft shoulders, perfect, gazing over the front fingertips for a moment, warrior two, virabhadrasana, when we're ready we're going to bend that right arm and bring the arm down to the thigh, if that's super uncomfortable you could bring the hands down, so we've got a bit of a softer lean, Lovely. The left hand is going to come point up to the sky for a moment. And then we're going to move into this shoulder joint. Lovely. So we're going to take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, the fingertips are going to start to reach back and down. And we're going to start to draw a circle with the arms. Come down towards the earth. Inhale, it's going to come back up. Lovely. Exhale. The arms coming down and round. Inhale, it's coming up. See if you can slow the breath, slow the movement. Lovely. Moving into the shoulders, the upper body. Perfect. Let's take it round one more time. When it reaches the top, we're going to inhale, lift it all the way up, straighten that front leg, oh, release the arms, give them a shimmy. Turn those toes back in, and we're going to swap that over to the other side. So the left toes now point to the short edge. I'm going to bend that left knee. Again, hands can come to the hips or we can lift the arms to Virabhadrasana. Engage the belly, lift the heart. Warrior two, feeling strong but soft. Great way to start the month. Fabulous. In our own time, we're going to bend that front arm, take it down to the thigh, or again, remember we can bring the hand there if we prefer. Right fingertips are pointing to the sky, we're leaning very gently backwards for a gorgeous open chest. Take a nice deep breath there. As we exhale, the fingertips are going to start to reach backwards and then come down. We're inhaling, it's lifting up, lovely. 
and then follow the rhythm of your breath. Ah, perfect. Really opening up as we get to the top, reaching forward. Love, let's take it through one more time and then when it comes to the top, Take a moment there and then using an inhale, lift it up, straighten the leg and then flick off the arms, turn those toes back in and then we're simply going to heel toe, walk it back in, shake off the legs, flick off the arms. Fabulous, wonderful. Coming back to the short edge of the mat so you've got plenty of space behind you to step backwards. We're going to inhale, lift the arms as you exhale, fold it forward. Take your time in taking that little hang. Perfect. Bringing the hands down to the floor, so bending the knees as much as you need to. We're going to step the right foot back, bend into the left knee, and then lower that back knee down to the ground. Now you can keep those toes tucked under at the back or you can let them go flat, whichever feels right. Take a moment to have a little rock forwards and backwards with that leg. Just moving into the hips, particularly when we're sitting down a lot, we can get really stale hips, so let's release anything. Check in with the breath. Lovely. Pausing at the front, coming into that low lunge. When we're ready, we're going to inhale, take the body up, arms up. As you exhale, soften the shoulders. If the arms are bothering you, bring the hands to the heart. You want a lovely, tall body, lifted heart. Fabulous. Your low crescent lunge here. <clears throat> ah, lovely. On an exhale, let's bring the hands down to the ground. We're going to plant that right hand down. Inhale, left arm comes up and we twist in towards the thigh. Fabulous. If you want a little more energy here, you could tuck the back toes under, lift that back knee off the ground. Let's see where you want to go. Nice, steady breathing, pushing into both the legs. Perfect. If you've lifted that back knee, let's lower. And then lower the hands down to the earth. Wonderful. We're going to slide this left foot back, come to our tabletop, and then push up to downward facing dog. Take a little pedal out. Remember, if down dog's just not feeling it, you can always come down to a child's pose, take some nice long breaths. Fabulous, lovely. When you're ready, let's look towards the hands. You can walk it or step it forward into your forward fold. Take some softness with the upper body, really let it hang. And then inhale, we're going to roll up to your mountain posture, feeling lovely and tall. Checking in with the breath. Fabulous. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, take it down. Letting the vertebra be caused by gravity. Hands to the earth, we're going to step the left foot back this time and then lower the back knee. We're bending into the right knee and we take a little swing forwards and backwards once again. 
getting into the hip joint. And you might find that one side is a little more tense than the other. Perfect. Settling it forward into that lunge. Inhale, lift the body, lift the arms. Push down into the ground with the legs. Soften the shoulders, soften the face. Fabulous. On an exhale, let's bring those hands down to the ground. We're planting the left hand down, inhaling, right arm comes up. We're twisting into the thigh. And then let's tuck those back toes under, lift the back leg if you're taking that option. A few lovely long breaths there. Lovely, if you've lifted that knee, let's bring it back down. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Slide that front foot backwards and then let's lift it up to a downward facing dog when you're ready. A little pedal, a little wiggle. Push the heart to the thighs. <sighs> Lovely. And then this time we're just gently going to bring the knees down to the ground and then lean back into a child's pose just for a couple of breaths. Maybe even bring in the hands under the forehead. Really let go. Nice steady breath. Perfect. In your own time, we're going to come back all the way up, tabletop, and then push the body up. We're sitting back on the heels, if that feels okay. So we're coming into a kneeling position. If you prefer to come to the sitting bones and cross-legged, do feel free. It's entirely up to you. Finding a nice tall spine, engage the belly wherever we are, shoulders back and down, chin parallel with the earth. Lovely, we're gonna take the arms down to the sides. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, you're gonna bend the elbows, bring them in line with the shoulders, pause in there, fingers are spread. See if we can pull the shoulder blades towards each other, pushing the heart forward. Taking a few breaths into the front of the body. Fabulous. Let's inhale, take the arms up. This time as you exhale, you're just going to bring the arms down in front of you, bring them in line with the shoulders, lovely. I'm going to take this into eagle arms. So we're taking the right arm underneath the left and bending the elbow. We're then going to bend the left elbow. So hands might be all over the different places. It's going to look and feel different to everyone. You might get the backs of the hands together. You might be able to wrap the wrists, whatever feels right for you. We're generally going to pull the elbows up and send them away from the body. And what we're looking for is a very gentle pull of the shoulder blades. If none of that is feeling right, one of your other options would be to simply wrap the arms around the body as far as they will go. And give yourself almost a big hug in and you'll feel that same pull in the shoulders. Lovely. We're pausing there for a couple of breaths. Breathe into the space between the shoulder blades. 
Unwind in the arms when you're ready. Shake them off, shimmy it off, move the head. And then let's take that to the other side. So we're going to start with inhale and taking the arms all the way up. As you exhale, let's bend the elbows, pull the shoulder blades together, flex the fingers, getting some real energy into that upper body. Fabulous. On your next inhale, let's lift the arms all the way up. As you exhale, bring them down in front, pausing there, shuffling the shoulder blades down the back. We're going to take the left arm underneath the right and bend the elbow. We're then bending the right elbow. So again, you might find that it looks different on both sides as well. Sending the elbows up and away from the body so you find that gentle opening. Breathe into the space between the shoulder blades. Perfect. A few more breaths here. Rest the face, the jaw. Lovely. Let's release the arms when you're ready. Again, shimmy it off, shake it off. Move the head. And then if you're still on the knees, do you slide off, slide the legs out in front. Give them a little shimmy. Do roll the ankles if you've been kneeling. Just get all that blood flowing. Lovely. Nice tall body. There can be a little bend in the knees here. Gonna inhale, sweep the body up. And then exhale, we're folding forward. And we're going to just reach to wherever the body wants to reach to. So it might be hands on the thighs, the shins, the feet. Lovely. Taking a moment to feel length in the spine, length in the back. Relax the shoulders, the jaw. Feel gravity pulling you down, grounding you to the earth. Perfect. On an inhale, let's roll it all the way up to sitting. Taking the hands to the floor, we're going to slide ourselves forward on the mat, bring the feet flat to the floor, knees bent. Just lift the heart for a moment. So we can hold on to the fronts of the shins or the backs of the thighs, lifting up nice and tall. If you fancied really getting our inner agony, our inner fire going, you could lift the feet up into a boat posture. Lovely. Breathing wherever you're choosing to be right now. Perfect. Let's bring the feet down as they're lifted. And we're going to roll into the spine. So we're going to start to round the spine, tuck the chin, and start to lower down to the ground. Vertebra by vertebra. Until we're flat to the earth. Take a moment to let the legs go long if that's okay on the body. Relax the arms down by the sides and just feel the weight, the heaviness of the body on the earth. And feel the lightness of the breath 
as it lifts and lowers the belly and the chest. When you're ready, bringing the knees up to the belly, you can take the hands to the thighs or the shins. Give yourself a little hug, maybe a little rock from side to side. Maybe rolling around in circles, just massage the back into the floor. Bringing it to stillness nice and gently. Lovely. We're just going to take a very gentle twist. So we're going to pop the feet back down onto the floor, about hip distance apart. We can take the arms out to a T position, or maybe even stretching them gently above the head. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. As we exhale, let the knees just softly fall down to one side. Taking this soft twist just to allow us to feel a release. No effort, no gripping, just allowing the body to softly twist. We're letting go of control, letting the breath flow freely. On your next inhale, let the knees come back up to center. And as they exhale, just coming down to the other side, twisting in the opposite direction. And just letting the Breath flow freely. Feeling that gentle squeeze on the spine. On an inhale, bring the knees back to center. You're going to take the knees back up to the belly, give yourself that little hug in again, that little rock and roll. And then we're going to come up to a seated position. You can either roll to one side or you might roll yourself up. See how playful you're feeling this morning. We're going to take the hands back down to the knees and we're going to finish our physical practice just as we started with circles of the body. I really want you to be free here, move the head, the shoulders, get all that beautiful energy we've been moving around the body, feel it in every inch of you. Let everything be nice and soft, kick it round in the other direction. Fabulous. Bringing it back to centre when you're ready, finding that tall spine. Take one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart, close or lower the eyes. And just feel that beautiful breath coming in. And let's sigh it out. Just be mindful of how the breath feels, that expansion as we inhale and the softness as we exhale. Release the hands down 
Let the palm shine upwards. Take that beautiful breath in. Sigh it all out. And then allow the breath to settle to a nice natural rhythm. Just remember your intention that you set at the very beginning of our session. And then just let it go so that it can come back to you. Bring the hands together at the heart, nod the head and just thank yourself for taking time today. Namaste.